Scotland should be given access to the EU's £600 billion Covid recovery fund in order to help it become a free country, a pro-independence group claimed while setting out a blueprint for Brussels. A new poll has shown that Scotland would vote for independence regardless of who wins the Conservative Party leadership battle. The Sunday Times slash panel base survey found that 48% supported independence while 51% were against it. However, support for remaining in the UK dropped to 48% in a scenario where Liz Truss becomes the next pro- Ms. Truss raised eyebrows recently when she branded Nicola Sturgeon an attention seeker and said she should be ignored. If the Scottish First Minister does achieve her independence goal, one of her main aims, it is believed, is to take Scotland back into the EU. In May, pro-independence campaigners made a stunning suggestion. Campaign group Europe for Scotland spokesperson Anthony Barnett suggested that the EU could grant Scotland access to its £600 billion Covid recovery fund. He argued this would help to cover the costs of separating from England and for the creation of a new Scottish currency. Mr Barnett told The National. The EU should say, it will do whatever it takes so that independence become that should be the choice. What Europe for Scotland is saying is we have to persuade the European Union not to treat independence as an internal question of the British Isles. Now that Britain has left it is an external question which it can address in advance. With Brexit the European Union passed a motion formally saying if Northern Ireland wishes to unite with the South it will immediately become part of the European Union. It should now do the same for Scotland. It remains a free choice for the Scottish people, but they should know before they make the choice that they are good.